Hey there, everybody. It's Keith from Crypto Coin Mindset. I hope you're doing well today. Today is December 15th, 2018, and in this video, we're going to talk crypto market news. But before I start in on the news or taking a look at the market, I wanted to talk to you about my new Brave browser here. I just started using this a couple of days ago, and I've got to say, I'm kind of loving it. For those of you who are not aware, this is the ad blocking browser from Basic Attention Token. This is a project we've talked about a number of times in the past, and honestly, great potential with this project as far as I'm concerned. So far, I've noticed that this browser runs much smoother than Chrome, and yet you can get almost all the same functionality. As a matter of fact, you can actually import settings from Chrome so you don't lose any of your bookmark pages, save passwords, any of that kind of thing. So I'll leave a link in the description below so you can try out the Brave browser for yourself. I'm actually also in the process of becoming a content publisher with them. So stay tuned. I'll let you know how that goes. And matter of fact, maybe I'll even make a separate video about that. All right, on to the market. So we're here on Crypto Compare, and you can see that the market is still down. Okay, there's my update. <laughs> Honestly, I was going to say just kidding, but I'm really not. The markets are still down. Bitcoin is still showing weakness, as are the altcoins. Uh, right now, Bitcoin at 31.9582. And it's been hovering around, as you can see, consolidating in that uh, 31 to $3,200 bracket. And frankly, I don't know how much longer it's going to stay there before we have a move. But stay tuned. It's coming. All right, then. Let's move on to some news. First thing up here is Google Trends. Now, I found this a bit interesting. I mean, a lot of people in the space think that Bitcoin is responsive to what shows up in Google Trends. So if uh, the searches for Bitcoin are up uh, in Google, then Bitcoin's up. If they're down, it's down. Now, I'm not sure there's that much of a correlation between it, especially with this news, which quite frankly, I find positive. According to Google Trends, the number one searched term in the US and the UK was, what is Bitcoin? As you can see here, what is Bitcoin is right up there with the question, what is a government shutdown and what is Fortnite? Now, on a side note, I had no idea what Fortnite even was until, of course, my 10 year old granddaughter was kind enough to explain it to me. Oh boy. Okay, enough about Fortnite. So, as you can see here, the US is fifth on this particular list. This list breaks down the what is Bitcoin question search by region of the world. I do find the top four areas of the world searching for Bitcoin pretty interesting as well. They are, as you can see, Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, and Australia. Now, we all know that there's a large group of traders and investors from the land down under. But these other areas, the unbanked areas of the world, to me, this shows the most promise for Bitcoin and all these other altcoin projects, because honestly, that's kind of what they were developed for to to be able to reach the unbanked masses of the world now that leads me on to our next article a bit here we see a university study basically saying there are millions of new crypto asset users in the space now the judge business school which is a subsidiary of the university of cambridge posted its second annual report on cryptocurrency it's a 59 page report called the state of Bitcoin, and it found that millions of new users have entered the ecosystem since 2017, but they still remain passive at this time. And can you blame them after a year long bear market? Who wants to get involved when stuff is sinking? Nobody does. But put that aside, it also found that the majority of the mining facilities use some share of renewable energy as part of their energy mix. That kind of flies in the face of the energy consumption costs that Bitcoin mining utilizes. And finally, one of the other big takeaways was that mining is less concentrated than it was commonly perceived. Now, as you can see here, there were some other great findings, in particular where wallets are concerned. To start with, 62% of all the providers support mobile wallets. I mean, that's a huge development and honestly is going to be huge as we move forward in the space. Also, there were huge increases in the support levels for web wallets and desktop wallets. Now, also interesting was the vault services. These didn't even exist in their report in 2017, and now they're on the scene. 
And not only are they here, but they're supported by 31% of all providers. All in all, this bodes well for the crypto space. Personally, I think we're going to see these numbers increase year over year as we move forward. All right. So next, we have Samsung building a blockchain smartphone. I found this a bit interesting. We've recently told you about the new Finney blockchain smartphone from Siren Labs. Then it was the HTC smartphone using the Brave browser as its default browser. Then we had the mobile browser Opera building a blockchain browser with an Ethereum wallet built into it. Now we've got Samsung getting into the space. Samsung has applied for three European trademarks for blockchain related features to be incorporated into smartphones. These trademarks are called Blockchain Core, Blockchain Key Store, and Blockchain Key Box. Now, I have no idea what they are, but I can't wait to see. Personally, I believe that we're going to be seeing a lot more of this from Samsung and other smartphone companies in the near future. I hope you found this video helpful. I'd like to take a quick moment to ask you to give this video a like. It definitely helps our channel. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and then tick that little bell. That'll make sure that you get notified anytime we post a new video. Now, if you've been watching our videos, you know we don't put any of those silly ads on our videos. You know, the ones that you have to sit there and watch before you can see the content that people put out. However, we do have some affiliate links in our description below. I encourage you to check those out. We only put links to things that we use or invest in. And by using those links, it will help support the channel and allow us to keep putting out more great content. That being said, I hope all the investments you make are great. If you're a trader, I hope all your trades are profitable. And stay tuned for more crypto market updates. Take care.